Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome back. It is so great to have you all with us today. Are you guys ready to find out what our next story is in our Bible Hall of Fame? Awesome. Let's head over to Teacher Shelley now. Hi, boys and girls. Welcome back to Tiny Tots. Your sister and I will be doing a free market challenge while my mom tells you the story. And today's story is Daniel and the Lion King. Okay, let's go colors now. One. Two. Okay, these are my. <laughs> All right. Hi, boys and girls. Like Jesse said, today's story is Daniel in the Lion's Den. Girls, you can get on with your challenge while I tell the story. It comes from the book of Daniel, in chapter 6. Now, Daniel was appointed one of the administrators so that means like an important government kind of person um, for King Darius and he was really good at what he was doing and all the other governors were very jealous of Daniel and they thought hmm we need to get some trouble going here because they saw that the king was going to make Daniel even more important than they were and they tried and they looked and they checked what trouble could they stir? What does Daniel do wrong? But they found nothing. Because Daniel was a God honoring person and he worked well. And they said to each other, We'll have to catch Daniel for something to do with his God. And they came up with a tricky plan. They decided that they were going to go to the they did. They went to the king and they said, Oh, king, you are so wonderful. You are so powerful. We think you must make a rule that for the next month, everybody has to only worship and pray to you. Because they knew that Daniel prayed to his God. And he said, And this rule must be for everybody. And anybody who doesn't listen, needs to be put into the lion's den. Sure. Right. The king didn't think about it a little bit. He was um, so flattered that they thought he was so great. He decided to make that rule. Ha! The guys thought, now we've got Daniel. And so the king put out the rule and let all the people know. As soon as Daniel heard the rule, he went to his room and he went to pray. And he prayed to God to ask God for help. All the other governors, they saw him and he thought, now we've got Daniel. They ran to the king. And they said, oh king, remember that rule we just made? And the king said, yes. He said, well, Daniel didn't obey. Daniel just ignored it. And he prays to his God three times a day. King, your rule is your rule. Have to throw him into the lion's den. The king was very, very sad. And he took him away. And he oh, thought of a way, and he tried and tried to think of a way that he could save Daniel. But he didn't. And at that evening, the people came back to the king and said, King, this is it. You have to throw him into the lion's den. The king said, Well, I made it a rule. I have to stick to my word. And he went and he got his guards to get Daniel and he said to Daniel, Daniel, may your God, who you so faithfully serve, save him. They put Daniel in the lion's den, closed it up with a big stone. And nobody could get him. The 
the king went back to his room, but he didn't eat, he didn't sleep, he didn't listen. He was just so worried about Daniel the whole night. And as soon as the light came up the next morning, as soon as the sun was shining, the king put on his gown, he ran down to the den, and he said, and I'm going to find it in the Bible here, he said, Oh, Daniel, Daniel. Let's see if I can find it. Where the king said, Daniel, servant of the living God, has your God, whom you serve continually, been able to rescue you from the lions? And what do you think happened? It was the exact same. He listened carefully. And then he heard a voice. And the voice was Daniel. Daniel said, O oh, king, live forever. My God sent his angel. And he shut the mouths of the lions. They have not hurt me. Because I was found innocent in the sight. Nor have I ever done any wrong before you. Oh, the king was so relieved. The king was so happy. Daniel was saved. Daniel was alive. But more so, the king learned that Daniel's death was the true God. He had Daniel lifted out of the lion's den. And he made a new rule. And the new rule said this. I issue a decree that in every part of my kingdom, people must fear and reverence the God of Daniel. And that's our God, the true God. Yes, for he is the living God and he endures forever. His kingdom will not be destroyed. His dominion will never end. He rescues and he saves. He performs signs and wonders in the heavens and on the earth. He has rescued Daniel from the power of the lions. And so as amazing as the story is, boys and girls, how God saved Daniel from the lion's den, the amazing thing is that King Darius learned that the true God is our God who made the heavens and the earth. And that when you are faithful to God and when you do what God says you must do, that God is with you. God will save you. God will help you in your times of trouble. He's also with you in your times of goodness and trust. Right. That's our story for today. We're going to pray. And then we'll see how the girls have managed with their three markets. Let's pray. You guys can carry on. Father, we just say thank you for your love. Thank you for your assurance that you are the true living God. Thank you for this amazing story that teaches us how awesome you are. And thank you, Lord, that we can learn from the story that when we are in times of trouble or a little bit confused, we can pray to you and we can ask you for help. And you will surely answer us and you live forever. And so we praise your name and we worship you. All right, girls. Are we almost ready? Yep. All right. So I'll have to choose a different crayon or marker because her one was actually dry. And so we're going to have, what colors did you have, Dale? I had green. Green. Pink. Pink. And a maroon color. All right. Not quite lion color there. But let's see. What did you have, Jess? I had orange. Orange. Gray and yellow. Sure, that's almost lion colors. That was a good choice. All right, here is the great reveal. I'm going to count down to three. Are you ready? Let's go. Three. Count with me. Two, 
Let's go. One. Reveal. <laughs> All right. They look so great. I love this is like a funny, like a good, happy one. Hey. And that looks almost quite like a lion. Wow. But we know that we, when we have lions in our den, trouble or stresses, who do we do? What do we do? We pray to God. We pray to God. That's right. And that is our story and lesson for today. We hope you have an amazing Sunday and a wonderful long weekend or public holiday tomorrow. And remember, we're meeting at the church on Monday. I think it's 9 to 12. Join us for some family fun.